Okay, now as we try to learn more about these polynomials, another thing we're going to start doing is factoring. We're going to take this as piece at a time. The first thing we're going to review is GCF factoring. Uh, you might be familiar with this already. If I'm looking at a GCF factor, I'm basically trying to divide the same thing out of the entire thing. So in this case, what I can divide out is a number. I can, uh, the number that will come out of all of those is a 2. Now I've had some students tell me, well, Miss Trask, I could take an X out. Well, you cannot take an X out because this last term does not have an X. So since that term, is, if every term doesn't have an X, I cannot take an X out. So in this case, I am going to divide out my 2, and that will leave me with a 7X squared, and then a minus 5X, and a plus 6. And whatever number you uh, divide out, I'm sorry, plus 3 on the end, I should have said. Whatever number you divide out is going to need to be written in front. So that's going to give you the correct answer on this one. On this one, I'm looking for a number again. Uh, this one's a good one to think about because I'm looking for the biggest number I can. And although it's true that I could divide out a 2 or a 4, if I do that, I'll end up just needing to divide out a second number, divide out twice, which isn't ideal. So the biggest number that can divide in is an 8. Uh, a lot of times if I say, hey, 2 will divide in, I'll say, well, would something bigger than 2, like 4, divide in? And since it did, will something bigger than 4, like 8, divide in? Just kind of double the number. A lot of times that helps you find out what will happen. But there is an 8 and then x to the 6 and x to the 3rd. Since they both have an x, I can definitely take an x out. And in this case, what I'm going to take out is actually my x to the third. And the reason I can take out my entire x to the third is because that is the lower exponent. I cannot take out six x's because this term here only has three x's to give. But I can take out all three x's because I can get at least three x's out of this. On this first one, again, I could not take out an x because that didn't have an x to give. On this one, I can only take out three because there's a maximum of three x's to give in this term here. So I'm going to have an a dividing by 8x to the third. I look at what's left. I will have 1x to the third. There's no need to write that down. Remember, when we're dividing, we subtract the exponents. So 6 minus 3 is 3. And then x to the third divided by x to the third. Same thing, top and bottom will cancel out. Don't forget that 32 divided by 8 is 4. So this is going to be what you have in your parentheses. And you have your 8x to the third in front. So that gives you your answer. On this one, I need to say, what can I divide out of this? This one does not have a number at all, but since they both have an x, I can take out an x. And it is true that sometimes you will not have a GCF that can come out at all, but always look for one because it will definitely make your numbers smaller. And sometimes it's the only way you, you can go forward in the factoring process. In this case, dividing out 1x changes that from a cube to a square. Dividing out the only x there changes that to a minus 4. And this is a little extra on this one. Some of you might remember that this is a perfect square. Uh, it's a little bit more than GCF, but I could take one more step and say I have an x plus 2 here and an x plus 2 there. And you notice if I would not have factored out that x, I never would have known that that was a perfect square with that x cubed in front. So that is one important reason to go ahead and factor out a GCF that this one is partially factored, but you never would have realized that you could have factored out the square unless you got the GCF first. If this was as far as you got for today, that's fine, but we will be reviewing this and getting to this point of the problem very soon. hope this helps you recall how to do GCF factoring because it's going to come in really handy in this class.